and welcome back. You're with Terry Erasmus, and today I am with Emile De Brain. Emile is the owner or partner, partner. of uh, Plant Life International. It's a bonsai venture business, nursery, yeah, yeah. all of bonsai the above. Nursery, all of the above. <laughs> Based in Ceres, which is, uh, if you don't know, we're probably it's about what two hour, two and a half hours from Cape Town. Yeah, it's City like an Center. hour and a half to two hours. Okay, it's a beautiful drive, beautiful nursery, and uh, as you maybe see from some of the, uh, the, the little uh, cutaways that I've done, uh, Emil has specialized in Goya Matsu or Miyajima Goya Matsu, which is the grafted Japanese white pine. Seems to be his, uh, his keenest interest and uh, that's what we're going to be speaking to him about today. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, seasonal maintenance of white pine and uh, Emil will be showing us some of the techniques uh, involved and sharing some of his, his experiences of growing the species in South Africa. So uh, how, have you, how long have you been growing white pines, Emil? I've been growing white pines since 2012. 2012. I think I believe I okay, bought my 10. first white pine from you. <laughs> okay. I remember yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. beautiful little show in. Yeah, yes. I remember that tree very yeah, clearly. Yeah. Well, certainly your love uh, for white pine and your appreciation for them has, uh, has grown. How many trees do you actually have now? Do you know? I'm not exactly sure, but uh, white pine close to 300. 300 white pines. That's, yes. that's a lot of trees. Yes. And then you've also got uh, some other interesting species. It looks like you're trying um, to, you're doing a lot of grafting work, I yes. know, from previous discussions with you, also on um, collected, uh, collected pines. Collected pines, collected cedrus, yeah. collected maples, yeah. anything we can find yeah. that's like uh, specific to bonsai or relevant okay. to bonsai. Okay, okay. Um, any particular tree that you want to talk, that you want to um, show maybe in specific reference think, to something? Uh, specific reference, I think just sticking to uh, white pines because this yeah. is like the peak yeah. seasonal time for white pines. Okay. Um, it has all the visual cues for autumn work. Mm. Um, and it's very interesting, so it's a nice carryover to uh, other species that most people in the in bonsai mm. is um, familiar with, like black pine seasonal yeah. work. Sure. So many of these uh, things like have many resemblances mm. to treat similarly. Okay. But it's just okay. timing. But today we're going to focus on the white pine. Yes, today so we can focus on white pine. What uh, have you already uh, have you already selected a tree that yes, we're going to be have, working on? I okay. Have. Do you want to share which one that is? Okay. okay. Yes, correct. <laughs> this one is right here. So that's the tree that you've selected, Emil. Why have you chosen that tree? Okay. So today, um, as you can see, like it's it doesn't have a very defined bottom as of yet. Like you can see, but it's very fuzzy. Um, and if you look at closer details where we can show now is um, lots of these fuzziness and denseness is blocking out the smaller branchlets and this tend to get weaker over this time so this is a very important time uh, during autumn where we're enjoying the last sun sunshine from summer uh, is to expose those vulnerable buds to sun again okay um, so you're talking about you've chosen that tree because it, it's getting along in terms of density yes but you're saying that the needles are reducing the amount of sunlight penetrating into the canopy. yes penetrating into the sun okay yes. so it's obviously so you're saying it's important to remove the needles or to clean those needles out uh, so that you get sun in and then you've got buds in on the interior that you're trying to strengthen yes correct. Ah, okay correct. okay good so uh, we basically do um, branch selection for ramification during this time and depends if you're in development or refinement but uh, this is crucial to get uh, the photosynthesis uh, to where it's needed okay mm. awesome okay so we're going to take that inside and you're going to work on it there correct Okay, so today um, we're going to do some um, autumn seasonal maintenance on uh, the Japanese white pine. Um, it's basically just going to clean out uh, the two-year-old needles and do some um, 
branch selection. It's like cleaning up all the bifurcations or the crotches to, to let more sunlight in and uh, just redistribute energy throughout the tree. So we do branch selection uh, during this time um, because we're already going in and cleaning all the needles to distribute, uh, to get better uh, sun penetration within the lower pads. So through this, during this time, it's also a good time to notice where there's weaker areas in the tree and which areas are getting too strong. So um, going through this process and spending the time with the tree, we can make that decisions now. Um, because as we are going to be exposing uh, or letting more sunlight into the tree, this is also giving the opportunity to, for new buds to be able to form. And by removing overly powerful areas of the tree, that gives um, the energy that's needed to form those new buds. All of this browning and yellowing of needles is normally the two-year-old needles. So this is a very good indication in autumn when these are starting to yellow or even brown to uh, proceed with your autumn maintenance. There's additional uh, needles that doesn't come off easy. As these ones come off easy, there's, there's some areas where it's not and when I want to decrease power, I can always like remove some of the clusters just to clean up the crotch. Uh, so some of those needles are tough and cannot be removed easily by hand. So I just snip them. So this is an area like a pad that's already been cleaned. You can see there's like clear definition um, in the crotches. So it's like nice and open. So he, all the areas here um, has the potential now to, to form buds. As this branch um, doesn't have any sunlight blocking it, now we have a potential of getting back buds forming on where the old clusters were from the two-year-old needles it's it's still there's still a potential for it to have a dormant bud there which can be stimulated you can see it's little little uh, spots where the where the old cluster used to be Now I've finished with this pad. So as you can see now, it's much clearer um, for the pad underneath to receive better sunlight. All the crotches are cleaned and hopefully now we can get some more, um, more spots that fall in here with more buds. I think we can cover this up a little bit more. While I'm busy here on the last branch, I can tell you guys a bit about um, seasonal care in uh, for uh, Japanese white pine in South Africa. So I think preferably it depends on where you're situated but South Africa's got pretty harsh sun so I like to keep basically all of my trees under uh, partially shade, uh, shaded areas like shade cloth but like full sun but uh, with like a 40 to 25 percent shade depending on the tree. Um, so I would definitely suggest having like if, if, if any of the soil area is exposed and the tree doesn't have a nice established canopy, it's definitely worth it um, 
getting it under shade cloth so you can just keep that like little microclimate going and it doesn't dry out too fast um, we in summertime in the hottest of hot days which is maybe less than a handful of times during a year we might water up to three times a day but casually through summer it's we water twice a day and uh, for the rest of the year just check on water we kind of keep the, keep the soil moist but we do tend to give it time to dry out periodically I have a noticeable uh, effect on the soil that it is dry before we water just to see if there's like any unhealthiness that the tree so it's important to make sure the tree is using water full sun but then you need some shade net otherwise you need to put it in the area where it gets less hours of sunlight to be on the safe side i'm done with um finning, doing the autumn work uh, cleaning out all the needles which i'm just cleaning out the soil surface so with um just want to give you an overview of white pine and like how you control uh, the needle size everyone wants like the smallest needle size possible uh, relative to the size of your tree so with white pine it's very important that you hit every seasonal benchmark which there's only two main areas which is autumn work which i have just done after autumn the next important step would be in spring after um, candle elongation it's so like on white pine it's very different from other pines like you'll see the candle extend but you won't see any needles present you'll see like this um, little knobs knobs on on the candle that's like distributed around so there you would pinch the candle or just shorten it to a stub but leaving present maybe a cluster of four or five knobs that is basically where your your leaf or your um, needle your five needles would would grow from that's that's the buds um, that is very important to do it in a timely manner before the um, that no knobs burst open into into needle clusters and also don't give it too much time so the internodes get too long and with a combination of this autumn work and uh, the pinching of the candles in sp springtime you would achieve great results and very short needles so on the subject of fertilizing um, during autumn after this work we do continue to fertilize but preferably low nitrogen to no nitrogen only phosphorus and potassium to give it additional reserves and uh, help with forming some buds um, over the last bit of autumn and during winter so it has enough reserves and then we kind of continue to fertilize um, till we see uh, Can the candles pushing and once the candles start pushing we take away all fertilizer and after candle pinching um, we basically don't fertilize anything um, till that needle clusters has hardened off before we continue to uh, fertilize otherwise you will get pretty pretty long needles just to discuss some general um, rules or guides when it comes to uh, white pines in my opinion is they do need a very good uh, balance of um, oxygen and water so you always have to make sure that the soil percolates very close is very per can percolate very close to the trunk um, we solely use uh, Akadama pumice and lava mix one and one and one for our for our white pines if we don't have lava we would only use Akadama and pumice and for trees in development like this one uh, we would repot so every two to three years but uh, once the initial uh, repot is done to change out this most of the soil 
from the field grown soil or whatever the previous soil might have been if it was not Akadama. Um, the secondary potting is kind of the complete uh, removal of old soil and now and after then still if in development um, it's not heavy repots but it's just for the outer periphery that's basically getting replaced every time and that will tend to be so early development three years then as more refined the tree gets, the longer that time period can go from five to seven years even. When we're potting, we do repotting um, strictly in uh, springtime. Um, after you can you can quite you can uh, notice that the that the bud is swelling or kind of changing color, like the sieve is kind of uh, bursting at the seams. So when you see that, like you have to hurry up and repot. Um, but otherwise, normally at the end of uh, the end of winter and early spring, which is in South Africa, anything like from late July to to August, early August, it is possible to repot during autumn as well. But that would only be in uh, like for crisis management if if something unforeseen has happened or you the, the tree's health is declining at such a rate that you don't see it making it through winter you can uh, do a repot to try and remedy um, that that scenario ideal time for uh, styling white pine would be anything from uh, late summer autumn after you've done this work because like you have quite nice accessibility to the interior of a tree and you can see all the buds um, and then otherwise it's also a good time to perhaps wait till uh, till say midwinter after autumn has passed because then um, you have a better chance of not hurting buds or damaging um, the cambium layer where potential buds could have grown. Uh, if you wait till winter, perhaps those have become visible after this type of maintenance. Wire would normally stay on close to two years. It depends on how vigorously the tree has been grown. We uh, use raffia with um, very like mostly like larger branches but sometimes if we have smaller branches which needs to be bent drastically uh, raffia is there to protect it from uh, tearing or having a very hard break we here uh, prefer to use copper wire on all of our conifer materials so junipers and pines So thanks very much for watching. I hope that you've learned or picked up some important or valuable tips from Emil. Uh, there's so much more to be said about white pines. They're a wonderful species to work with. Um, definitely a more feminine pine. The needles are so much easier, so much, much softer. I certainly enjoy them for that. Um, but I, I, I'd like to if, uh, comment below if you think we should come back to Emil, uh, visit him here in series and maybe we do something else again, maybe in spring. Uh, when the candles are pushing or maybe come back if he's doing any repotting we can come and uh, take some footage of him doing some white pine repotting and show that to you but once again thank you Emil for your time and for um, hosting me and um, all the best for your your ventures and uh, with your business Plant Life International and uh, certainly if you're in if you're passing through or planning to pass through series uh, definitely give Emil a call and see if you can arrange to come see his nursery and his collection of white pines which are obviously mostly for sale except your yeah, yeah, <laughs> except your, your your favorites but uh, yeah uh, and and I'm sure you'll find something that you like so thanks very much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so now and uh, catch you next Friday thank you goodbye take care